Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. This episode we're going to look at the Panasonic KX-T61610 PABX versus the Soho MS-208 PABX. The reason I'm doing this uh, video is because a lot of people had questions about uh, field phones and PABXs, mainly uh, a lot with TA838s not working on your home network. And also uh, some people I know have multiple dial-up and touchstone field phones that they want to operate at the same time and you only have limited phone lines in your house. So go ahead and uh, we'll get started. Okay, I've been receiving a lot of questions and comments about uh, how I connect all my field phones up, my dial field phones up so I can call since, you know, I'm not hooking up to my phone lines at home. So what I do is I have a what's called a small PABX. This is it. It's a private automatic branch exchange. Uh, this one right here provides dial tone and calling services. Um, you can connect uh, eight telephones to it. It's got extension 601 to 608. You can plug in three external lines to it. So if you want to plug in like your home phone line and then some other phones, this is basically what a business would use for uh, for doing its its operations in that. Um, it works with some field phones and not other field phones. It won't work with anything that has dials on it. It won't do dial pulse. Um, you can buy converters that will do convert dial pulse to DTMF or touch tone. Um, I tried those. I went through, I think, five or six of them at about 40, 50 bucks a pop. I don't think so, but uh, this will not work with rotary phones, so I don't think you're going to do it. Um, I'm going to hook it up now. We'll hook up a, uh, some commercial phones to it and I'll hook up a TA838 to it, which is probably one of the most common phones that people, field phone people, get that they want to hook up and use. As a, as a phone at home or something like that. Okay, we have the small PABX hooked up and I've got a TA312 with a 955 touch tone dialer on it. A TA838 set for two wire common battery, D, or DC common battery, I'm sorry, and a regular old just commercial telephone. We'll make some calls and I'll see how it works. First thing we'll do is we'll try calling something from the uh, 312. Okay, I got dial tone. Let's call the commercial phone. That's 603. Okay. Test one two. Test one two. Works good. Okay, now let's try calling the 838. That's 602. Okay, it's ringing. Phone's not ringing. No, let's go ahead and answer it anyway. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. Yeah, the call's there, but it doesn't have enough, the switch doesn't have enough power to ring the 838. Okay, let's try one more thing. Let's call from the commercial phone. Let's try calling the, the TA312, see what happens. That's 601. Hello? Okay. It didn't ring it. Okay. The problem here is these phones, these military phones, these field phones like this, require 90 volts, 20 hertz ring down. This switch only puts out 70 volts, which is basically a European standard. So this phone will work with it. These phones will make calls going out. You can make a phone call out. You just will not receive the ring coming in. So that's the problem with using one of these. And like I said, you can buy a small converter box to go with them, but uh, I never had any luck. They usually would go out after a couple tries, and they're, you know, rather expensive, and I didn't want to waste any more money, so I just broke down and bought myself a uh, bigger Panasonic switch. So I'm going to shut down. We'll get all this stuff out of the way, and we'll actually get the, uh, the Panasonic switch out, and we'll look at that. Okay, this is my Panasonic uh, 61610. I purchased this one because I wanted to be able to use my field phones. With, I had a bunch of field phones that had dialers on it, and a small PBX wouldn't work with dialers, so this is what I ended up getting. This is actually uh, was designed for businesses and that, but it works great for me. You can do uh, 11 phone extensions on here. The phones can either be dial phones or touch tone phones. 
It'll also do uh, common battery phones. If you have like common battery field phones, you can hook them up and you can use them with this. It'll actually ring the operator position. It has the ability to use a door. So if you have like an access door where somebody picks the door phone up and you push a button, it'll do that. I don't have a use for that, but it's capable of doing that. It's got the ability to do six external lines. So if you had like uh, phone lines coming in from the phone company, you'd plug them in here and then it'd allow people to make phone calls in, switch would route them, and then go back out. The only problem with this was in order to use it, I had to get a special phone. This is it right here. Got to have that to program it. But that was no big deal. This cost phone calls almost as much as the switch did. Okay, we'll go ahead and I'll uh, shut down, hook everything up, and I'll show you how it actually works. Okay, I got them all hooked up. Uh, this has always got to be connected to extension 11, which is the first one. That's basically functions as the operator station for programming and stuff. The other ones are all hooked up uh, according to their label. This is two-digit dial. So first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll actually call the... Uh, 312 from the operator's phone. Good solid ring. Test 123. Test 123. Okay. Go ahead and we'll call the other way. Test 12. Test 123. Yep. Okay, now I'll go ahead and I'll call the TA-838-17. There we go, let's put the light on. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. My hands are a little bit weak. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll call the please the three or a three didn't call something. We'll call the operator. There's another. Test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two. Test test. And you can see there you go. That's basically how it works. Uh, the reason it works is because this was designed. It actually puts out an actual ninety volt ring signal so it, it makes these operate will actually operate that one too if I remember it that's 12 I think yep test one two test one two yep that's it so that's the big deal so in order to make it work and you actually do phones you have to use something like this now some home phones if you some of you Basically a VoIP circuit, it will ring the 838 and the 312. I know some won't, so I mean, that's whether you want to use one phone. If you wanted to, you could actually take this and plug this into your home phone line, and you could hook up a bunch of these, you know, field phones. I like I said, I purchased it because it lets me use my dial field phones that have actually rotary dials on them and call each other. And I also could hook up a network and do calling and that, and now I'd have to use my home phone line. So like I said, this is a TX.